Hello mga ka-learners! Meron tayong bagong lesson na papanoorin while at home or kung nasaan ka man ngayon. And speaking of listening, our module for today has a lot to do with it. Our module's title is, Are You Listening? And for this lesson, we will talk about attentive listening. What is attentive listening? Full and complete listening, also called attentive listening, is the practice of paying attention and fully understanding verbal information. Our world is filled with sounds. Pagising pa lang natin sa umaga, we can hear the birds chirping, the utensils clinking when we eat, the characters from your favorite TV shows talking, at araw-araw, we hear oral information whenever we communicate with other people. But we often get so busy talking that we forget to listen with understanding. Hearing what is said is not listening until we understand what it means. Malaking part ng buhay natin ng pakikinig and it is necessary for us to learn how to listen. When we listen to understand, we practice listening with comprehension. By doing so, it helps us make decisions more effectively. However, you should know that this is not easily achieved. We need to focus whenever we listen to get ideas presented by others. In this lesson, you will learn how to pay attention when listening. At the end of this lesson, you are expected to be able to listen attentively to the content of oral information and listen for answers to questions raised. To practice listening attentively, sit in a comfortable position. Close your eyes and focus on the sounds you hear around. Listen to these sounds individually and think of them. Meron bang lumilipad na kulisap? Or may footsteps of other people around? O kaya naman, may tumatahol ba ng mga aso? Let's try it. Close your eyes and relax. I'm going to play random sounds, listen to them carefully, and try to identify them. I played the sounds of rain pouring, coins clinking, and a rubber toy being squeezed. Were you able to appreciate these sounds better when your eyes were closed? Yes? Kung ganun, ano sa tingin mo ang halaga nito sa pakikinig? That is because when your eyes are closed, you are able to focus on the sounds better. Kasi heightened ang hearing senses natin kapag nakapikit tayo. You appreciate these sounds more compared to when your eyes are open or when you're busy talking or in other words, when you are distracted with something else. We have two ears and one mouth, and that's the basic proportion of listening to talking. We must listen more to talk briefly with accuracy. This activity teaches the value of focusing or paying attention to the sounds that you hear. Hindi natin maiintindihan ng maayos sa mga bagay na hindi natin narinig ng maayos. Kaya, this skill is very important in writing information gathered from oral communication o yung pakikipag-usap natin sa ibang tao. You're doing great if you're interested to hearing more of this lesson, then the very thing that you're doing right now is attentive listening. Some people pretend to hear, pero yung totoo, hindi naman nakikinig. That happens when they don't make an extra effort to understand what they hear. Hearing is one thing and listening is another. When you are introduced to somebody, do you make an effort para maalala yung pangalan nila? Na late ka na ba sa isang appointment dahil hindi mo narinig na maayos yung tamang oras ng meeting? Did you argue with anyone because of miscommunication? If these happen to you, then listen to the lesson carefully. It will help you to be a better listener. Now, what makes a good listener nga ba? Una, a good listener doesn't answer or comment until he fully understands the content of the topic being discussed. Kapag naiintindihan mo na ng maayos ang sinabi ng isang tao, then you can confidently react or answer 
to the best of your knowledge. Second, a good listener takes notes to help himself remember. He makes an extra effort para maintindihan niya at maalala ang mga napakinggan. You can bring a pen and paper or you can use the notepad apps on your device. This way, pwede mong balik-balikan yung sinulat mo para maintindihan mo pa ng lubos. Lastly, a good listener asks questions if there is anything that needs further understanding. This is to prevent any miscommunication. It is important to listen to verbal messages or the content of texts. If you are able to give the details of oral information, that means that you understand and remember what you've heard. But sometimes, we may not be able to get details right away. The speaker may talk too fast or his voice may be too soft to hear. If that's the case, you can ask the speaker to repeat what he said. This time, you can listen more closely. You can politely ask people to repeat verbal information. If it's allowed, you can even ask if you can record what is being said on your device. Ask them to say it again louder or slower, enough for you to hear and understand. However, make sure that you listen more closely the next time. It would be impolite to ask for a repetition several times. Like, rewinding a clip takes effort. So saying things again requires effort too, right? When listening to somebody, it is important to focus or concentrate on what he is saying. If you are distracted, you cannot hear well, understand, and remember what you have heard. Let's have a short quiz. Listen carefully to an announcement that I'm about to read. Make sure you understand and remember the details of it. Take notes if you can. Afterwards, you will have to answer the corresponding questions. Notice of planned power interruption. In order to make improvements to our electrical system, there will be a power interruption affecting customers in the Kamanava area on Tuesday, September 1, 2020 at 9 in the morning to 1 in the afternoon. The outage is necessary to carry out maintenance work safely that will upgrade equipment, improve power delivery reliability, and reduce the risk of unplanned or forced outages. By providing start and finish times for the service interruption, we are trying to minimize any inconvenience of power loss to you. Please be advised that it is the customer's responsibility to make alternate arrangements if there is a need for power. We regret any inconvenience that this interruption may cause. If you have any questions, please contact our office at 02-1234-5678. To test your listening skills, answer the following questions. Number 1. What was the announcement about? Number 2. Where will the power outage take place? Number 3. What were the reasons for the power outage? Number 4. Was the announcement accurate and relevant? Why? You may compare your answers to the matching answer key of this lesson when you check into your online LMS account. Let's recap what this lesson is about. Number 1. Listening attentively means being able to understand, remember, and use oral information. It requires focus and concentration. Number 2. If it is necessary to ask a speaker to repeat what he said, avoid asking him to repeat it many times. This would be impolite. And number 3. Answers to one's questions must be listened to attentively. Thanks for learning with me today, mga ka-learners. I hope that we were able to impart new knowledge sa inyo.